Hi guys. So I'm back with another little parcel to open. <laughs> so excited for this one because this parcel is from Geo. And she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but um, you probably would have seen her name in a lot of the comments. She supports so many channels and she's um, a really, really lovely person. And um, she has sent me the most amazing happy mail not too long ago, actually. And this one, <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be something a little bit cheeky. I don't know why. I just feel like it's going to be cheeky. So... Um, because I, I did get this a couple of days ago and I messaged her on Facebook to let her know I've got it. Just so she didn't think it was lost in the mail. And um, that I'll, like I hadn't had time to film it. Because I like to film Happy Mail in the order they come in. And I didn't want to bombard you with, you know, a thousand Happy Mails in one day. Because I've had so many. I'm so spoiled this week. And um, anyway, but she did say... You know, and I said, oh, you, you didn't have to send something. You sent something not long ago. And she did say, oh, but, oh, what was her wording? I can't remember the exact wording, but she said something like, oh, but I just had to send this or something like that. So, I don't know. I feel like it might be a little bit cheeky for some reason. But Geo's a good girl, so I'm not sure if it will be cheeky. Okay, it's really heavy and it feels like a big, heavy book. Oop, there's a little card in here. I always forget to put the cards on that in. Let's see. Oh, what a beautiful card. Look, the old wooden cotton reels. Um, Every time I find like old wooden cotton reels at op shops, I always pick them up because they're so cool. And then when they're um, finished, you can take the little labels off the top and use them in your embellishments. Oop. <laughs> okay, there's... This is inside. It's got some fabric. And this is like card. And it's got a pretty little charm on it. Oh, and this little bulb, bulb pin is... um. Maroon. I've never seen those. Okay, let's see. Let me read the card. Okay, I think I can read it on camera. Um, it says, Dearest Bonnie, I could not resist putting together a little package for you. I found the marvellous book at my local Vinnie's. I could not believe that it was on the bottom of a pile of golf magazines <laughs> waiting there for me to find. Of course, you were the first person I thought of. Is that weird? In brackets. <laughs> oh, I love that you thought of me. Um, I hope you can use it or keep it. Whatever you like. Some other little extras for you to use. Hope you like it all. Love, Geo. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. And I love this. Like... Simple little things like this. You know, when I make tags and embellishments and stuff, sometimes I try to avoid it because I I overthink it. And um, my style is book page tags. I just like to sew all this junk onto them. But look how pretty this is. It's so nice. I love it. Okay, let me see. I'll just snip this because all the tape, I don't want to make that ripping sound on camera for you. Oh, dear, you put so many little extra goodies. You've already spoiled me. Dragon Chronicles. James, my friend James, he's going to be so jealous of this. Oh, wow, look at this. She must have heard that I was making, you know, I've said I'm making a dragon um, journal. 
if I ever finish it. Oh, wow. Thank you, Geo. Oh, look at that map. I love dragons. I wish they were real. <laughs> I've always, ever since I was little, I've wanted a dragon. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you, Geo. Look at that. Imagine if they were real. So beautiful. I like how every page looks really old and distressed. Look at that. And the borders. That's so awesome. In I don't know if anyone watches Game of Thrones, but in the last season, um, oh, when that poor dragon got killed, I was so sad. But then I was kind of happy when um, he came back as, <laughs> even though he's one of the walking dead what are they called? The snow people. I can't remember the names. There, there's too many months between seasons. I need to rewatch the last episode. That is so awesome. Look, it's got like day 28 and... Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I can't show it on camera the right way around because my camera is too close to my bookshelf. But look. Look at this little dragon hatching. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me when you saw that. I don't know why, Geo. I thought it was going to be something <laughs> really cheeky. Oh, I should have known. Sorry, I'm sniffing. I should have known you weren't cheeky like, like cheeky Sue Freeman. Oh, and you put goodies in. Thank you. Oh, look at this big Ziploc baggie. Where does everyone find these? They're so cool. Big ones, look. Oh, these are dragon's eyes. Oh my gosh, look at those. I've never seen these. I actually made my own um, dragon eye with, um, I'm sorry, I've got the sniffiest nose this morning. I made my own dragon's eye with, um, you know, those glass, <laughs> what are they called? They're not marbles, but they're little glass things that go in like fish tanks and stuff. And I had a green one. And what I did was, um, I had some wood filler that I used on a different project. Um, I made a little cabinet for my husband. I might show that in a in another video. And um, yeah, I just built up the. Uh, actually, I made two, but my crows stole one when they were out the bag drying. And um, so yeah, I just built up some wood filler around the glass marble type thing. Those are so cool! Oh my gosh. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, you put some more stamps in. Oh, Christmas ones. They're Christmas as well. A little eyelid there that's cool thank you oh is this this um what's it called the sari silks or whatever that everyone uses for their closures i think so i've seen everyone use it and i love how crinkly it looks but um i didn't actually know what they're using so cool thank you I love the maroon ones and purple oh thank you 
Oh my gosh, I'm not going to do a super big video again, am I? One free beer. <laughs> New Zealand. Okay, I'll better head to New Zealand. <laughs> Oh, oh, 1951. Wow, where did you find this? Time allowed for reading. Town members, seven days. <laughs> Country members, 14 days. Any member lending, losing or injuring a book will be liable to a fine in accordance with the rules. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Look at that little chicky. <laughs> Look at this. This is, is this from some chicken nudging thing? Look, date set, out first test, due to hatch, number hatched. Remarks. That is cool. <laughs> Where did you find these? Cox Mufflin. This looks old as well. You can just tell by the the font. Buys of sheepskins, wool, calves, horse hair. That is so cool. Commissioner's risk parcel. That's like the um paper that you know the airmail stamps are on. Little map. That's cute. Australia Post. Sorry, Australia Post. I stole their pen the other day, but it was by accident. I was in there writing and then I walked out with it. Little salad bar thing. This is actually, this is really cool. It's like the little, um, I got some booklets of, um, you know, where menus take down your order. I, I was going to put them in my Etsy shop, but I haven't got around to it yet. And there's one girl I wanted to send some to that commented on them. <clears throat> so sorry. Oh, look. Oh, I love him. Blue tongue lizard. I have a blue tongue lizard. And his name... Okay, it's very original. His name is Bluey. <laughs> but we call him Blue Bear. And um, he's my baby. I give him kisses and cuddles every morning. He was a little rescue one. Um, he was like teeny tiny when we first got him. And he was so little. And now he's like this big giant alligator. Oh, look at this. 1985. That's so cool. My dad collects first day covers, but he's not getting this one. <laughs> he's probably got it already. Australia, 33 cents, 85. That's so cool. Thank you. Oh, what is this little page? Oh, look how cool this is. This is old as well. That little picture I love it and I love when like the you know the staples rust and leave a mark and everything I love that little page I wonder what book that came out of oh I've seen the girls on the junk journals down under group using these these are um little <laughs> tea bag things I don't know what they're called little tea bag bags I don't actually drink tea or coffee, and um, so I never have any. That is so cool. Yeah, I saw a lot of people making little altered tea bag bag thingies. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. Oh, okay. These are are these coffee filters. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know, but um, I think they might be. Ooh, that, that 
heap of feels so delicious but yeah I've seen people using these as well okay only I would get excited over a coffee filter that is cool oh that paper it feels handmade oh bottle brushes if you're in Australia you'll recognize these oh that's so pretty and I'm making Christmas journals at the moment, so I could use that as well. Ooh. I saw heaps of these at Reverse Garbage, and I was so tempted to get them, but these are those little fabric samples, the upholstery fabric. I love upholstery fabric. It's so thick and nice. And I really wanted to get them, but I was like, oh, I've got so much stuff already that I don't use. Oh... I love handmade tags. Look at that. That's so cool. This is like all, um, you know, petrol head. Little, <laughs> you know, the oils and the petrol cans and stuff like that. And then, see, like, all little oil cans and stuff, petrol cans, and then a little piece of a rose. Like, that's so gorgeous. See, I'd never think to pair up a little bit of a rose with those. It's so creative. I, I love handmade tags. Look, that's so beautiful. Beyond this place, there be dragons. Oh, my gosh, this is a little... Oh, look at that. What's that off? Was that off a... I don't know. Does it just hang? That is so cool. Look at that little key. Did you make this or... Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. Sorry, James. <laughs> He'll be so jealous. My friend James, he loves dragons as well. Oh, this is out of chocolate box or something. I always keep this as well. Feels so nice. It's good on tags. <gasps> oh, stencils. Do you know, I don't even have any stencils other than a stupid little ABC one, which came in a kid's stationery set that I found at an op shop. Oh, the brick wall one and the honeycomb. How did you know? Oh, another. Oh, thank you. Oh, and it's got all the ones that I wanted. How did you know this? Brick wall, honeycomb, the little cogs and the dots. Oh, keys. Like, those are the ones that if I had to go buy them, I would pick those exact ones. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to James. We were just talking about the other day how I said I wanted stencils. Oh, thank you. I did actually hand cut one once, but it was in, in cardboard and um, it died over, <laughs> over a few months and I don't have the patience to hand cut them. Plus my stencil knife is really blunt. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Geo. Oh, you shouldn't have sent these. I feel so greedy. Look at the cogs. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, bugs. I love little bugs. Wendy, I watched your video last night and I know when you held that plastic spider, um, you said, you know, you wouldn't have been able to hold that a couple of years ago because they scare you but I'm not afraid of spiders or anything only cockroaches like this little guy looks a bit cockroachy so I'd probably be scared if I saw him but yeah everything else um yeah if there's a spider in my house I save him I take him outside cockroaches flies and mozzies they're the only things that get squished in our house Oops, I want to put those aside so I don't wreck them. Oh, 
I love those stencils so much. Actually, um, Rhonda Johnson, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she does have an Etsy shop. And I'll put the link in the description box below. She made the most awesome insect um, journal just lately. It already sold, like got snatched up straight away. And um, it was so awesome. She found an old insect book and she kept the cover as was. I loved that. I wanted to buy it myself. Oh, these are stickers. Oh, look at this wasp. He's beautiful. <laughs> look at this guy. Giraffe weevil. I've never heard of him. Oh, I don't like you. You look a bit cockroachy. Oh, thank you. I love bugs. Oh, butterflies. Look. Oh, actually, look what I found the other day in my room. I've got this little book that um, I actually found in a curbside cleanup and it had all these little animal cards. And look, JD, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, JD and Geo, because <laughs> I know you like elephants and JD. So, yeah, it was funny because, you know, when you come across something in your room that you've had for a while and you get all excited. Oh, look at this guy. I love them. Huntsman. Surveying the Hunter. Ooh, this looks nice. Ooh, my video's going to cut off. That means I've talked too long. That's the hint from my camera. Oh, I love these old black and white pictures. A voice of warning or the miseries <laughs> of a land surveyor's wife. 1838. This is so cool. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Oops. Okay. I, my camera is about to cut off. I better get off. Look, oh, this is so awesome. I'm going to read this. Okay, oh, thank you so much, Geo. I really love everything, and you didn't have to send another another happy mail, but I'm so happy you thought of me when you saw that um, dragon book. And I love my little dragon eyes. I don't know if I'll be able to use them. They're so cute. And thank you for these. I don't know how you knew the exact stencils that I was talking to a different friend about the other day. Okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.